again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Woodland Hills, the venue at the Dirty Bull Tavern. One quarterfinal has been settled. Now it's time for our second one, so let's meet the competitors. He boasted one of the best averages on the CDC Tour and was the winner of a thrilling 13-leg match last night against Chris White. He's also your number 15 seed. From North Augusta, Ontario, please welcome Gary Broomhead. And now, he is the 2015 CDC Continental Cup runner-up and boasted the highest point per round average on day one of this year's finals. Hailing from Hollywood, Florida, your number 10 seed, Gary the Mauler Mawson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second quarter final. I'm Colin Cosell, and I have the dubious honor of being joined by one of the action dads, uh, a cigar aficionado, and also one heck of a dart thrower himself. Gordon Dixon is in the booth with me. Gordon, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm enjoying uh, California. I cannot, uh, I cannot complain. Obviously, I'd rather be, uh, rather be out there, but um, this is second best. Well, you, uh, you had a, a, a tough match yesterday against. A uh, tough young competitor in Danny Lauby, too, who just took down John Part, 7-5. Uh, uh, just some tremendous darts we've seen so far. And he had to do it against a competitor such as yourself. But now we have the battle of Broomhead and Mawson. The one thing I can assure you is Gary will win. <laughs> That's I can <laughs> that will be without a doubt. I will. <laughs> I can. You can rest assured that Gary will come away victorious. Now, both of these guys, fully capable of shooting in the mid '80s, uh, even approaching 90 in their uh, their points points per round. 100. As uh, Mawson opens up with a ton there. Uh, yep. What Broom do you expect to see out of these guys? Yeah, so Broomhead might be a little bit uh, lesser known um, to some of the viewers, uh, but believe you me, um, people that uh, that have seen Gary play um, know that he is he's no slouch. Obviously, with the biggest upset yesterday against uh, Chris White, um, he's going to be feeling uh, pretty confident. And uh, and also, if you're looking at the tables, he had one of the uh, one of the top three three or four averages uh, of all the top sixteen coming into this. Yeah, absolutely. Broomhead uh, is is no slouch. Uh, just because you know you don't know him, you will after this weekend, after that epic match last night between him and the great white Chris White, uh, two Canadians facing off against each other. Um, they, they kind of have like rival groups that follow each other. It's like the, the Sharks and the Jets, but what they don't know is uh, uh, Danny and Tony you know, in West Side Story were not friends. These guys are. Um, and there's our first ton 80 of the match. This one going to Mawson, our second ton 80 of the day. I, I anticipate we'll see quite a few of these. Um, you want to you want to place a gentleman's bet? Absolutely, absolutely. I'll take uh, I'll take. Oh, who will I take? Um, I'll go Mawson. Let's say Mawson. I'm saying overall ton 80s toss today. A ton from Broomhead there. Oh. Uh, overall, what was the total yesterday? Uh, I think the highest total was uh, five thrown in one match uh, collectively. I'm saying collectively here, I expect 65. to see, I'll go with four. I think that's a good number. All right. I think that's a good number. All right, so we're going to agree, and that makes it a gentleman's bet. So we're <laughs> going to go with four. Mawson will require 56 when he gets back up to the line. Broomhead at the Aki right now. First start, errantly flies into the five. Yeah, second one in the single 20. Third one went for that trip 18, did not get it to fall. So Mawson... We'll actually have an opportunity to break Broomhead going for a double top. And that one sails a little high. Third dart. Ooh, falls into the single five. Broomhead with a ton 36 out. A little lifeline here for uh, for Broomhead. But uh, both these guys can finish extremely well. Surprised not to see that one a little closer uh, to, to start this shot off. 
um, especially the way uh, Gary finished yesterday against uh, against Chris White. But again, we've got Mawson here, the UK Open 100. finalist, um, runner up, uh, not not too awfully long ago. Right, and uh, Mawson now with a shot at the double sixteen. He hits the sixteen, but the actual Next number shot, itself third, pulls it out with the third Mawson. dart though. And right before that, we saw a correction by Gary Broomhead that pretty much carried him into Thousand Oaks, which is uh, several towns over. So, uh, is um, and then he hit the trip twenty uh, to to pull pull within, but Mawson pulls it out, seventy five so far, ninety five for Mawson. Gary here, uh, having been broke in the first leg, really wants to reel that back as quickly as possible. So. Um, he's going to really focus in here and try to uh, try to pull this leg back. And we can see he's doing a great job here at the start. And he pulls out a ton 80. All right, we are halfway to our prediction. So I should have taken the over. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, both of them. Both of them seem to be in a groove now on that uh, on that trip 20. Both of them with such smooth strokes. Mawson, just a mellifluous throw, and his countenance denotes absolutely, I mean, like, it's just, he's, he's just calm, cool, and collected. No, he really is. Oh, here look we... at Broomhead. What do we have here? Ah, oh, oh, right. sails just low for a ton 40. It's really funny, when you're at this level, and as I've said multiple times, you don't have to travel overseas to see quality darts, but, uh... <laughs> You're at that level, and you're disappointed when someone hits a ton 40. Uh, <laughs> it speaks volumes of the caliber of play. It's one of the fun fun parts about, uh, especially being in a crowd, is uh, b giving the, uh, the the cheeky boo when, when somebody misses the nine darter after putting in uh, the first five. 59. Uh, Broomhead setting himself up for the next turn. He'll go for a ton 22 out. Mawson trying to, to close it. Up a little bit, leave himself and out, comes away the ton. If Broomhead does not hit this 122 out. We'll see him start on the 18s. There Trip we are. 18, 68. S single for the bullseye. Triple Whoa. for two sevens. Double seven. And he oh, gets it. Are you start. serious? Great leg from wow. Gary to, to reel it back in. Wow. That, uh... I've seen some unorthodox shots before, uh, and you know, I no, I, I personally hate the double seven, but uh, you know, when you're zeroed in like that, just go for what, go for what, uh, what interests you. It's a matter of preference, really. Yeah, it's a really, uh, it's kind of a brave shot from him, but uh, it definitely paid off. Um, and we saw Mawson jump up there. He wants to get right back at the board, but. Uh, that was also a break, so uh, Broomhead stepped back up there with a solid 60. Yep. But uh, definitely not the level that we're, we're expecting after that last leg. Yeah, back-to-back -back breaks to lead this off, as opposed to the first quarterfinal of the day where we didn't see a break until the uh, sixth, seventh match, I believe, or leg, rather, of the match. So Gary stepping back up here, trying to uh, trying to hold his throw, trying to hold throw for the first time in the match for either of these players. And you see from that uh, over the shoulder angle there, with, uh, with our, our our cameraman Mark, with a great shot there, and you got to see how smooth uh, Gary's stroke is, Broomhead that is. I can't say Gary. <laughs> I'm 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 stuck saying last names. Broomhead Mawson. There we go. But uh, Mark Medoyan, our our cameraman back there, tremendous work. Got to, of course, shout out the crew from time to time, you know. Absolutely. So we broom head back to the uh, back 60. to the board with another solid sixty. So not not the sparks that we had in that uh, that last leg. No, but let's take a look at these averages so far. Gary, broomhead with a ninety-seven. Oh, just goes off. The, the back of the flight there for Mawson comes away with an admirable ton, 25. But Broomhead shooting a 97 average so far. Mawson with an 89 average. That's as good as anywhere in the world. Yeah, these are top-notch <clears throat> averages from these guys. We'll see if their consistency can, uh, can hold up and hold through. We see Mawson has stolen the darts here. 
So he should should be favored at this point to uh, to get to the double first. We see another 95. Going to leave him a big out. Two triples from uh, Broomhead here, though. And he could uh, could put this leg on its head. Doesn't, All right, let's see how Broomhead doesn't like the lie of that one. Step to the left. Really needs that triple to make this feasible. Oh, oh he will have that. an out. He will have an out, but um, lots to do. All right. Not if Mawson's able to pull it out, and he's not going to be able to do it on this turn. Stay stays, down there. Yeah, stays there. Gives himself an 80. Broomhead, Broomhead three dart out. Trip 20, trip 7, double bowl. First dart does not fall, so plan B. He's going to be looking to bring it down. Um, oh, and he's, he really needs a triple here. He's going to be left with a lot of work to do uh, still with... With Mawson sitting on 80, he's uh, he's most likely going to get uh, at least a single dart at the double top, if not two at uh, double 10. Yes, sir. Whoa, he's going triple, double 10. Outside, third dart for Mawson. That's outside as well. Broomhead with a 116 out. And you got to love the uh, crowd starting to build back there. You can see in the background, Larry, the Eagle, Larry Butler, watching these two competitors duke it out. And Gary uh, Broomhead's uh, girl, Ooh. Krista, back there as well. Yeah. Just met her. Very, very nice girl. 91 left, so we'll come down for the 17. 17, pulls there it, it out. Unless Mawson with three darts at the double 10. Steps up to the Aki. Let's see what he does. First dart outside. Second dart from Mawson. Ooh. Even farther outside. Third dart. Oh, overcompensation falls into the single 10. Dangerous double five if he gets the opportunity. Broomhead at the Aki right now. Double tops to take a 2-1 lead. Gotta say, he probably never expected to have a shot at this leg. But here he is. Three clear. There it, there is. it is. Second, Second dart. dart. And now it is a 2-1 Broomhead lead. We've got a ton 80 out of both gentlemen. Averages have settled down a little bit, 83, 81, respectively. Oh, but Gary stepped right back up. Oh, and Fills a ton 80. I spoke too soon. There's another ton 80 for Gary Mawson. I won't say another word about the, 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 what he could do here. Broomhead trying to answer. Let's get back to back ton 80s. Why not? Let's do it. There's a second dart. Falls right in the third one to notch it up. And he there gets it. it is. We get back to back ton 80s, and we've already reached our mark of four <laughs> ton 80s in the match. All right, we will not get a uh, perfect nine darter out of Mawson, but uh, it's not about that. 60. It's about just coming away leg by leg, getting the victory. 60 there for Mawson. Well, Mawson. especially especially after your opponent uh, follows your 180, you uh, the the focus of uh, hitting another 180 just becomes put in another good shot because. They're coming right behind you. Yeah. And here we, we see uh, Broomhead's going to have the lead after this uh, this second set of darts. Oh, oh. Unlucky. Comes away with an 80. Uh, now, you've you've been playing professional darts for years now. You've been on the CDC tour. Uh, you've experienced a lot. Tell me something. If you open with a ton 80 and your opponent does, what does that do to your mentality? Does that... Does that do you lose your concentration at all, or are you just you're more focused on doing it again? Well, I tell you, especially at this level, you get your shots answered so often that it uh, it wouldn't really, it especially wouldn't rattle someone like uh, like Gary Moss. Um, but uh, but yeah, you 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 come back to the board expecting to have a uh, eighty a hundred point lead, and uh, and it's tied up. Yeah, that's. I know me and my uh, my my 45 average uh, that would totally throw me off. There's a, uh, a 50 for Mawson, leaving himself 111. Unless Broomhead takes out this 118, already took out a 122 with a 12 darter in the second leg. First dart drops in. Now he's going to go 18 double top. Whoa! Ooh. Nope. He's going for the the untraditional, Big unconventional, and he pulls it out. It. What? <laughs> he's just. All over the place. Trip 18s are free for the man. I guess so. It's, you know, it's well, whatever works. Can't uh, can't argue with logic. Great finishing, and again another break of throw. So we see uh, Broomhead coming to the board uh, again. This should be the easy leg where you hold, 
but it uh, hasn't been that easy for these uh, these players thus far. Boy, is he zeroed in. My goodness, it's absolutely unreal. Well, and I tell you, again, I keep talking about uh, Mawson, but uh, with him over in the uh, the players' lounge and watching him warm up, he really was super relaxed. So yeah, I uh, I expect I expect him to stick in there. Um, seasoned veteran can definitely play. 45. Absolutely. And as I say that, he start, start, starts off with a 45. All right, Broomhead, who has just had that 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 stare. Just outside the trip 20. Seems to have lost a little bit. Oh, 60. No it's a reason. Pretty 60. Yeah, I was going to say, there's <laughs> no reason. They used to know. You saw tons of those yesterday. Right. You, you know, not to bring up, uh, you know, a sore wound, for, but I mean, I was calling that match and it was just literally a matter of millimeters. 60. And uh, and that just that makes all the difference. Well, and it's, it, it's, it does make it a little bit more frustrating because there's no adjustments that you can make once, yeah. once that's happening. So. Uh, you just kind of hope that uh, the energy shifts and they start falling in there. But uh, I'll tell you what, Broomhead came to play again today. Absolutely. He is absolutely in beast mode. After four legs, still in the 90s. Gary, though, having to do a little bit of catch up. And here we Oof. see a pretty 60 from him. Yeah, very, very pretty. You know, it's really funny, too, because Broomhead for a second there dropped down to an 83 average. It's uh, it, it's really easy to drop your average than it is to build it up. He went from an 83 to a 91 in a matter of two legs. That's pretty pretty insane darts out of Broomhead here, so far. Yeah, you start putting in those 12 darters, that'll uh, that'll turn your uh, your average around quite quickly. And he's fully capable. We saw three times uh, during the CDC tour, uh, once in Philadelphia and two times in Ypsilanti, where. Broomhead shot 90 or more, uh, with his best being a 93 average. Uh, so he is more than capable. He's obviously capable of high outs. He had a ton 44 out. Um, it's just uh, a super talented player. But you know, let's see if uh, see if he can hold serve here, or if Mawson can actually break him back one time. He's got to do it. He wants to get back in this match. He's put himself in a great position to hold. Uh, Hold here in the fourth, fifth leg. Um, Gary, though, again, we see him just on that wire. There he is. All right, he found it. Actually, it'll look like, where have you been? Ah. So, Broomhead, uh, sweet little two darter here. And he's, he's got, straight in that triple. He's got to go for that. He's got to go for the double 18. He loves the triple. Does he love the double two? He does. Eight teams in general are free for that man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's Gary Broomhead is brought to you by the number 18. In all of its various forms. <laughs> Gary stepping back up here. Really wants to just put in a solid leg. That one is a little errant. That one a little south. Third one sails in. And I don't know if the uh, the watchers are noticing, but uh, Gary actually throws with a pretty interesting flight. Uh, it actually only has three fins. I thought I saw that. What's that all about? Um, I It's... I. Think to help with uh, deflections, so it's oh. one less thing in your way. Um, and Gary's thrown them for uh, for quite a long time. Um, aptly yeah. named the Trifin. Oh, how about that? <laughs> That's <laughs> not trying to confuse anyone. Yeah, it just rides right on top. Third one, just oh, south, you. comes away with a ton. Broomhead at the Aki. It's a positive visit though for uh, for Gary. Because he has been uh, a little errant there in the last couple, uh, last couple of legs. Mm. But Broomhead back to the board, absolutely focused in on there. There's a uh, nice ton out of Broomhead. Now you notice Mawson, a little uh, more traditional with his form. That upper arm more parallel to the ground as he pulls out a beautiful ton forty right there. Broomhead, his upper arm. Kind of points down at almost 45 degree angle. Yeah, to, to watch Broomhead's actual stroke, you'll see he actually his his warm up first stroke is a little bit lower, and then he actually raises his arm a little bit. It's very very difficult to be consistent with that type of a throw, but this it's, this guy's spot on. He's perfected it. Yeah, we've seen some pretty creative throws. Uh, Danny Lobby too, for instance. Uh, throws it like a basketball. He's at the free throw line. He's kind of, he's more like Steph Curry than, uh, 
than you know a, a darts player, but uh, obviously highly effective. It works for both of them. Mossum will have a shot at an out after Broomhead throws these th these three darts. Still trying to get my uh, my mouth to work today. It's kind of spoke for eight hours yesterday. I can't you know trying to save the best for last. <laughs> we'll give you a break. Thank you. I appreciate that. Beautiful ton forty there from Broomhead. That'll leave him sixty one. If Mossum does not take this out, Mossum desperately needs this. Otherwise. Broomhead with a shot to take a really commanding lead in this race to seven. 29 scored. Not going to do it. 49 leaves him 72. Broomhead, 61 out. As you go, See single how? bold, you think? That's, That's yeah. what he's going for. 58. There single is. double top to take a 5 1 lead going into the break. Whoa, oh. that one slipped away from him. The first time I've seen any sort of a grimace. Out of the Ontario shake, native. Shake of the head for really, um, I mean, an important dart, but he's got to be happy the way oh. he's throwing. 51 to do for uh, for Mawson. Probably see him through the 19. There it is. Yep. Double 16 to take us into the break. And he nah. gets it. Shot. Squeezes it in there. Gary Broomhead, the one that got away. Gary Mawson, the one who needed desperately. Four legs to two as we take our break. Don't go anywhere. We've got a 91 average and an 80 average and a mere two legs between the two. The remainder of the game still to be played. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these guys take a well-deserved break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CDC Championship Day 2, the finals day two. This is our second quarter final match. We've got Gary Broomhead and Gary Mawson. In uh, in a bit of a slugfest, Broomhead up four Welcome legs back, to two. Mawson with a strong 13, finish. Four to two after the break. That was the Broomhead Gary to Gary first. pound there. Game on. And now we are entering this, the seventh leg. I am joined once again by the great Gordon Dixon, which uh, which I've been looking forward to. Uh, wanted to do it yesterday, but I figured, you know what? Let's just let Gordon calm down. I know you were upset about the 100. match yesterday. Um, and uh, that that actually begs the question, if you if I may ask, uh, at what point do you you know lick your wounds and then you're you're just like ready to get back at it? When when are you able to put uh, a match like that, a frustrating match like that, uh, behind you? Well, fortunate or unfortunate, well, mostly unfortunate. I've had quite a few of those uh, as of late, so um, I haven't gotten any better at it, which I'm proud of. Okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I I love playing darts, so I'll be back at the board. One hundred. I mean, I literally I threw after I lost yesterday, mm. just to warm up uh, with with some of the other guys over there. Right. Um, but uh, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't take long. A solid ten minutes and uh, sixty eight. I'd play again if they'd let me. <laughs> there you go. Well, if anyone has to drop out, Gordon Dixon is ready to go. <laughs> For me, I'm a generally happy guy. If something really annoys me, though, I need five minutes to cool down, and then I'm back to my level-headed self. But it, it, that's just, you know, with darts, it's the same exact thing. I have a crappy round. I, I get upset. There's a 95, 95 out of Broomhead. So we get back to the action. Enough about my, my personality and and trying to get inside the, the mind of Gordon. All right. 92. Awesome. Awesome. With a good cover shot down there on the 19. So again, we have a neck and neck leg. Broomhead slams that trip twenty. He throws with such a fat dart too. It's incredible yeah, how well really. he, can, he can get them in there. They're a bit like 100. bumblebees. Comes away with a ton there, so we'll have a shot at an out after Mawson throws these three darts. There's the first one flying right in there. The the tri flight. Staring us right in the eye, and the double. Did he get the double ball in that third dart? We'll see. No, it's single. All right, Broomhead. 46. Here we go. 610 wire. Two to ten. 10. And throws the third dart at the ground. <laughs> what did the floor do to you? Broomhead, double 18. Just oh. outside. That's the first time the 18 has been unkind to Broomhead. Gary Mawson, you require 71. Very surprised. Here we go. Gary steps up here with 71. 58 left. He's going to get a dart at tops after this 18. There it is. Oh, Single 20. Low. 51. See the hard blink from Gary. Gordon, this is Wishing that that would have went back in. That was some fine play-by-play uh, -play right there. They don't need me anymore. I'm just gonna let Gordon enjoy the rest of the day. I'm gonna in here. I'm gonna go out there and watch some darts. 
<laughs> Broomhead with 32. Oh, 20. Again, missing the outs. Wow. That's, as the old saying goes, triples for show, doubles for dough. Mawson up there with three darts at a double 20. Mawson really needs to count his blessings for this uh, oh. new visit to the board. Uh oh. Um, he's not going to take advantage. Why? So many people hate 16. the double five. You're a You're a double 16. four if he gets a chance. I mean, a double two, rather, if he gets a chance. Broomhead, three darts at the double eight. Oh, he's going to use that as a marker. Hopefully, slide it in right off the barrel. Off the, the uh, relatively thick barrel. Instead, it goes outside and knocks his flight right off. Third one, Game shot. and he sticks Third it. Dart, seventh leg. Goes Five to pick up his flight. Two, Gary Five two Gary broomhead. This uh, this is a commanding lead right here. Mawson had way too many opportunities, and I believe that's going to be the leg that haunts him if broomhead does in fact pull this out. Ninety-seven. Third dart drives down, so he gets the ninety-seven. Scorekeeper Jeff Good over there. Congratulations to uh, Jeff and. Uh, Deb Saul, they got married a week ago. Beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, wedding I was fortunate enough to go to. So uh, congrats to Deb and Jeff. 140. And there's a gorgeous ton 40 from Broomhead. Another big open from him. Gary, uh, Gary Mawson's got to be thinking uh, what, what, what he has to do to get, uh, 100. To get Broomhead off of his, uh, off of his tail. Well, 100's not going to do it between this, the number 10, and number 15 seed. Gary Broomhead, the number 15 seed. Don't let that fool you. The man only made it to half of the events. Uh, you know, there's... Uh, it's, 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 you could easily 43. be in the top eight. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Super nice guy. Very, very even even demeanor. Uh, you couldn't couldn't ask for uh, for a better darts player either. One hundred and thirty-four. Another big shot from Mawson to leave it out. Huge darts right there. Broomhead back in that trip twenty. Really needs to do a lot to to get to an out. He's not going to on this turn. Wow. But that free 18. There it is. It's going to get him, what, 184. So no shot at an out. Mawson trying to get the perfect out. He's one third of the way there. Up, second Ooh. one sails a little south, but he will have another shot at it. 105. So 105 there gives him 65. Single bull, double top if he were to so choose. Tradition would dictate that. But. There's nothing traditional now. It's all a matter of preference these days. Whatever works for you. For instance, Broomhead in the trip 18. This time 100. Back to the trip 20. Gary Mawson, Definitely pressurizes 65. this uh, 65 from Gary. He's going to try to be not quite so... 33, Ooh. 32. See, this is double eight to make it a 5-3 match. Single oh. eight. He's having troubles with that side of the board. Gary Broomhead, your car 84. Broomhead with a big opportunity here. This this could be a dagger. Ooh, Ooh and he slides into that five. 79. <clears throat> and that gives him 60, so Mawson will have another opportunity. Unless, 44. Uh, if he doesn't do so, hey, Broomhead Mawson, will have eight. 40. <coughs> Mawson <laughs> slides into the single four. Just low <laughs> of the double two. Gets yeah. it on the third dart. Third dart Huge in the eighth leg, leg Five from legs Lawson. To three. Ninth Boy, leg. did he need that? Three Had to have that start. one. Had to have that one. We see Broomhead's average starting to starting to creep down. Yeah. And Mawson slowly creeping up. So yeah, Mawson back into the 80s. Broomhead sustaining in the high 80s, and Broomhead with the lead dart. All right, we got 25 there, and he slipped away there. 50. Broomhead, 50. Forty-four. Forty-four there for Mawson. It's okay. Gary Broomhead, 451. There's actually uh, there's a little 
little uh, tickle going on with all of us going on. There's a there's a there's actually a fire. One hundred, like not too far from here, apparently. So there's uh, all sorts of particles in the air. <laughs> and uh, while well, our director David Irie trying 100. to test the limits of my professionalism here, Gary Broomhead steps to the line with a 351. I'm gonna have to put the headset down soon. Broomhead. Trip 20 on that first dart. Second dart sails just low. A lot of room left in that trip 20. Tons as he adjusts. 100! Oh, just, just south. Yep. Still a nice little ton for him. Lawson at the line. A single five. There's the trip 20. Third dart sails 85. just high. 85. Leaving him a 272. Broomhead 251. So Broomhead with uh, with a triple or two here could be favorite for this leg. He's having trouble finding it on this turn. 55. Just south for a 55. So now Gary with an opportunity to uh, to leave it out. If he hits the trip 20 in his first two darts, we'll see him go with the bullseye. Wow, oh, drop down. Straight to it. Ah, uh, just, just outside. Uh, 65 from Austin, leaving him 207. Broomhead trying to set up for and out with these three darts. Uh, a nice 180 here would uh, would be a good setup. Not going to happen. And that one does not fall the way he wants it to either. Steps away from the Aki and over to the right. Moving all 16. over that line. I'm surprised he didn't just go for a cover because, uh, well, A, the 18s have been free for him, and B, 419s would have gave him uh, 96 and leave him on an even 100. Maybe the, uh, he's forgotten about the 55. trip 18 and how kind it had been to him. Yeah, i got to give uh, credit to uh, Katya Vogt, our, uh, our camera lady back there. She's doing a fantastic job, so thank you, Katya. Gary Broomhead with a 136 opportunity. Not going to get it out. On this particular turn, gets it to drop into the trip 20, drops down, gets a single 16. 96. For a 96, 40 Mawson, double top if Mawson doesn't take out this 152, which he is capable of. There's the first one. Second one needs to drop into the triple. It does not. It drops just south of the uh, of it and gives him a single. 72, 72. to do. Yeah. 72 to do. We'll see... Wow. With trip 16 what? to leave 24. Look at that. <laughs> Great shot from Your Gary. That is a sign of a veteran and a professional. Broomhead. Game shot. There we go. Takes a 6 leg. 3 lead by six nailing that three. double top. And he is Gary one Mawson. leg Mawson. away from advancing. Can Mawson put a stop to it? Well, if he's going to do it, this is a good way to start on his uh, own throw. <laughs> that is absolutely true. And really good timing, too. There's a ton, 25 out of Mawson. Fantastic start. How will Broomhead answer? That lies in his hands right now. And that one sails a little bit south. You see the focus from, uh, from Broomhead here. He's had, uh, had laser-like focus pretty much this entire what time. Now, if you're Broomhead and you are in the driver's seat pretty much uh, score-wise... Are you just kind of going through the motions, or do you want to actually, you know, put an end to it 26. right here? Well, you, you want to, and you see the 26 from Gary, uh, or from Mawson, and back behind there, Broomhead shaking his head like, okay, he let you off, step back in here. Um, Broomhead for this leg is only averaging 47 for, uh, for the six starts he's thrown. Um, so he's going to want to finish it, but he knows the next leg is where, where the, the possibility really lies. Absolutely. There's a big ton from Broomhead taking advantage of Mawson's misstep with that 26 he shot. Breakfast, as it's uh, widely known in the darts community, but he steps right back up to the line and knocks down a ton 40. That'll leave him 210 and an opportunity to bring himself down to an out after Broomhead's turn. 354 remaining for the Canada native born in the U.K., did not know that about him. Yep, he was born in uh, Rotterdam, South Yorkshire. 100. It sounds very regal. It, of course, everything sounds regal there. <laughs> Even bubble and squeak, which is leftovers thrown into a pot and cooked. And <laughs> but it's, it's bubble and squeak. Sounds delicious. 100. There's a ton for Gary Mawson leaving himself 110. Broomhead. 
getting his weapons ready. So it's like he's got some uh, chalk or rosin. Yeah, maybe some wax, something that he's putting on there to help with his grip. Ooh, wow. Haven't seen many of those uh, those darts out of uh, Broomhead in this match. 41, 41 from Broomhead. So it looks like five, he's kind of resigned to his fate on this particular leg, unless Mawson can knock this down. There's a 15, 34 scored, 76 remaining. 88. And there. Uh, 54. You know, 56 remaining, yep. I believe. 213 for Gary Broomhead. Gary really just wanting to put in two triples here, try to put some pressure on this 56 so There's that if uh, it doesn't happen from Mawson, he'll uh, he'll be able to step in. He does get two triples, but that's not really what I was talking about. No, 95 gives him 118 <laughs> remaining. Mawson absolutely needs this leg, obviously. 56 remaining. There's a single double top, two darts at it. First dart, sails just high. The third dart. And he doesn't 16. get it. This gives Gary Broomhead the opportunity he did not think he'd have two turns ago. 118 is the out. Can he pull it out? Trip. He was going for the trip, did not get it. 98, still the out. 78 remaining. Does he go for that trip 18 that he loves so much? He does, and he's, ooh, 58. it escapes him. 58 leads him to 60. Mawson with three darts at the double top. There it is, Mawson staying First alive like Travolta. Leg. That makes six it six to four, four. Gary as we Seventh enter leg. the eleventh leg. Seat. Gary Broomhead to lead off now. He's he's got the lead throw. Yep, this is this is where he's uh, he's really he knows his chances are the best right now to put this away. And I tell you what, if he loses this leg, then we've got uh, then we've got a match on our hands because then Mawson will step back up with the with the throw. But uh, it looks like he's going to do, do his job here and put in the, uh, the steady ton. Yeah. Keeping the pressure on Moss and on, uh, uh, as he's throwing against the darts. 99. Oh, drop downstairs, single 19. We see the crowd building a little bit back there. We've got uh, our friend Stacy Brom Bromberg, who joined me in the booth yesterday, and Siyoshi. From L Style, hanging out, came down to watch some phenomenal darts. Can't say I blame him. Now, if only he would just step away from 100. our Cosmo banner. We're brought to you by Cosmo. Move over, friend. All right, Mawson at the line. Here we are. 60. 60. Oof. So again, here we see uh, Broomhead with a 40-point lead plus these. Throwing 100 back-to-back -to, -back to lead off this leg. Broomhead holds serve. He will advance. Yeah, nice steady 15-darter right here, I believe, would put him, 60. Uh, put him over the line. But we see a little falter there, just a 60. Now, yeah, Mawson really? needs at least a ton, obviously. Yep. Ideally needs two triples here. He's rectifying the situation after that five and finds two really good 60s after. Yeah, 125. Absolutely spectacular darts there out of Mawson. 24-point differential between the gentlemen. That's barely anything at this level, this caliber of dart. Throwing Broomhead at the line right now. First one. Ooh, sailing just a little bit outside. Drops down, sinks it right into the trip. 19 for a 97. 144 will be his out after Mawson. Steps up, sinks the trip. 20. Second dart. Goes right off the tri flight. Oh, the bitter irony of that. 140. Big yeah, shot from Mawson. Makes him favorite for the leg, but Gary Broomhead stepping up with an out. He's done it before, he's done it on this tour. Oh, oh, 80 just leads him 64. He drops downstairs to the 16. Single. 96. And he will have 48 Gary if Mawson does not take out this 77. Mawson desperately needing this. Mawson really needs to finish this and finish it 58. cleanly. Double top. His Eight heartbeat shot. is alive Eight and well. Leg, Gary Mawson takes it and breaks it. 6 5 Broomhead. With Mawson to lead off. Absolutely tremendous darts from the seasoned veteran, 
Gary Mawson of Hollywood, Florida steps up to the line. He's from Hollywood, Florida, but he's bringing the drama and theatrics of Hollywood, California in this match. Absolutely fantastic comeback there. And look at these averages, 86-82. Yeah, and they've stayed relatively uh, right in the middle that uh, that entire time, which is very, very good uh, for these guys, um, showing, showing their consistency. But uh, again, we were I I brought up this scenario before, so now we have Moss in the hold, yeah, 16. and it might send us into a uh, another decider. Well, everyone at home getting their money's worth, and by that, this is free streaming on YouTube. How about that? Ton forty for Mawson. humongous darts. Mawson really kicking in here when when he uh, when he has to. Broomhead uh, just lagging a little bit, but only from the standard that he set for himself here at the beginning of the match. Well, do oh. we get a max out of Broomhead? He's more than capable, done it twice oh, before, and not get his third one. Hey, we've maxed out at four so far, by the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, early on, that seemed... Uh, seemed like it was, we, we hit that by the third leg. We're now in the 11th. 100. As Lawson pulls off a ton there, will not have a chance at an out with his next turn. Broomhead... Needs a big round right now. And yeah, needs two triple twenties to get to uh, get to an out. Oh, even then he won't. And, uh, no, he's not even going to get. He's going to have at least another 16. round before he can think of an out. Mawson has another round before he can get to an out. What's he going to set himself up with? There's a trip twenty. Boy, has he found that again, huh? Oh, one eleven left to do. 85. Fat 20 to leave 91. Why not? Trip 17, double top. He's been loving that double top. So Broomhead trying to set himself up. Seems like we have a celebrity in the chat room there. Broomhead not uh, not one to shy away from the, the drama. He, he took it all the way to a decider uh, yesterday with uh, with Chris White. And it looks like we're headed that way. Today wow. as well. Oh, Mawson with an opportunity eight. there. He will have another shot at it. 16 will be his out. The double eight broomhead trying to set himself up for the opportunity at an out. Whether or not he'll get it remains to be seen. Looking doubtful the way Mawson's been throwing, although Mawson has had trouble with that lower left-hand quadrant of the board. Great view there from our camera 45. crew. 45 for hey, Mawson, Broomhead, leaves 136. Mawson, three darts at a double out to tie this up. First Game dart shot. goes right First in, and guess what, ladies leg. and gentlemen, you are six going to get to maximum legs. Gordon Dixon, boy, oh boy, did you come in at the right here, time. <laughs> Gordon's like, this is not what I signed up for. I just want to do a couple of legs with Colin <laughs> and get out of here. No, I, I, I always expected this one to, uh, to go the distance. Uh, Broomhead. Has been so consistent, but just dropping off here in the last couple of legs. We saw Mawson's put two points on his, and that's tough to do after after uh, twelve legs of darts. One hundred, and and he's raising it. So we see the steady ton from Broomhead. Really wants to put it in a good leg. Fifteen darts and and take this thing home. Oh, Mawson just outside. He should find it there. He does 60. it. Comes away with a sixty. Broomhead, if he can get a couple triples out of this one. That uh, that could be really, really big for him and could spell trouble for Moss. And let's see what Broomhead pulls out here. First dart falls into the single. Second one right there on the outskirts of the triple one, but it is a trip 20. Gets another steady ton. Another steady ton for Broomhead. Mawson needs a big round here. Oh, it oh. sails just into the trip one. There's the trip 20 he was hoping for. 83 scored. That leaves him with 358. Broomhead, 301. The game he used to play back in Connecticut. He'd have to double in and double out. But these are the big leagues. These are the big boys. All right. Gary going to try to stay steady on that ton. Wow, he is just wiring it. Going to stay there and he <laughs> finds it. With that fat barrel, manages to squeeze it on through and get another ton three consecutive tons to lead off this leg the ultimate leg the final leg 40. Gary, oh, Gary shaking his head oh. thinking all the work I did to, to put myself back in this and he just cannot find that trip 20 right now 
He won three consecutive legs to do so. And that's just, uh, that's heartbreaking, especially since Broomhead just keeps on knocking 100. on those tons. My goodness, four consecutive hundreds for Broomhead. Mawson needs a maximum here. Not going to get it with those starts. Second one falls in. Third one. 100 a for him, but it might Harry be Broomhead. too little, too late. Broomhead with a two dart out if he so chooses, but he's got plenty of room. Ooh, it looks like he switched what he, he was went about up. to throw. Yep. He went 41. He chooses double 16 for the win and to advance. Gary Broomhead just oh. outside, but he will have at least another three darts. Yeah, Gary, really, this is the time. It's going to have to put some Lawson. pressure on it. Oh, just outside. Needs a ton 40. Gets 100. a ton. We'll have a shot Gary at an out Gary if Broomhead misses this. Double 16. There we, there we are. Just outside. Oh. Gary Broomhead needs a double 8 to advance. He oh. doesn't 16. get it. At what point do the nerves start getting to a man who looked so cool, calm, and collected for the first 12 legs? Gary Mawson, with an opportunity to snatch victory out of the jaws of cliches that I'm spewing. That's Slides not into that do it. five. Oh. 78, 78 leaves him double top. Now, Broomhead. Three more chances 16. to win this match. Wow. That he, double starts to become so small once you've missed a couple fistfuls. Like a practice board. But he oh, finds it. Gary there. Broomhead will advance. Seven to six. An 84 Gary. average to an 83 average. It doesn't get any tighter than that. My goodness, Gordon. Well, first of all, thank you for joining me on this uh, spectacular match. Um, I don't know. You're going to be sticking around for the rest of the day? Yeah, my pleasure, Colin. And I uh, I may be back. Uh, my buddy uh, James Kenny, I believe, is uh, your next match with uh, Larry Butler. Excellent. Well, so I'll be either rooting for him or maybe uh, in here with you again. I believe we got uh, Stacy uh, Bromberg going to join me for that one. And then uh, I'd love to get you back in here for uh, for Gates Fathom. Okay. If, if you'd like. So we'll uh, we'll get Gordon back in here if, he, uh, if he's still available. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you're enjoying these darts. There's this, finally a smile on the face of Gary Broomhead and a smile on the face of all of the darts fans out there. Guys, stay tuned. Our next match will feature your number one seed, Larry Butler, against the number nine seed, James Kinney. Bound to be a phenomenal match between two great friends. Don't go anywhere. Next match, one uh, just a, a few minutes away. So stay tuned, guys.